first remove the bolt around this take it out this is how it looks you gonna put it here after this loosen one two three four five bolts and now we're gonna take out this cover <laughs> as you can see the co this cover also has a gasket we're gonna replace it with a new one now I'm gonna just put it on the side and as you can see <laughs> This is what goes under the cover. This is the timing chain. And these two sprockets should have two marks. Now we're gonna install both marks to be up here. <laughs> The left side thread as you can see like this you will tighten it like this you will loosen it and this is the kit this is the kit that I'm gonna use for it and this handle this is the key and as you can see I already inserted this piece inside I already loosened it now we're going to take it out Here actually goes a special tool, but I don't have it, so this is what I found right now, and this is what I am using. Now we're going to loosen it and take it out. We can put something under it, because as you can see the oil is coming out. As you can see, this is how it looks, and this is how the key looks. We just inserted this key right there. It goes inside. Like this. And after you're using that handle, and you will start to loosen it. Now I'm going to remove this bolt, and after one, two, three, four, five, six more bolts, and take this hub out. These are our cam shots and the timing chain. You can see a few guides. And this is this cover or hub or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> there is a piece of like, there is something like a filter. Was, but it's damaged already. Now we're gonna remove fuel, fuel pump from here. We're gonna take it out. And now we're going to start the camshaft bridges. As you can see, both marks uh, pointed up. 
<laughs> now the cylinder number one and the cylinder number four it's in the top dead center first we should to remove the camshaft bridges over the cylinder head cover first you should remove this solenoid that is located right here so we'll get access to this bolt after we need to remove this uh, camshaft position sensor take this bolt take the sensor out after you need to loosen this bolt and take it out that is holding the fuel pump attached to the camshaft bridges and after this we'll start to remove the bolt we'll start from the sides this side this side this side this side and after the middle when we are going to remove the last line of bolts the cover can pop up a little bit this is normal don't worry because a few valves are in tension so now we will start removing slowly the bolts mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> this is how the camshaft position sensor looks and it goes right here Now we're going to remove the bolts. line a little bit on the side now slowly we're gonna remove the last line of bolts I'm gonna remove them little by little as you can see the cover is coming up it came up just a little bit not too much Oh, I forgot, there is one more bolt. Before we will start to remove the uh, cam camshaft bridge, don't forget also to disconnect the fuel pump. It have have these three bolts, loosen the bolt, take them out, pull the fuel pump to the side because it has a gasket. If you're not gonna pull it to the side, you will not be able to remove the cover. So first, pull this to the side, remove the camshaft position sensor, remove the solenoid, and after you'll remove everything around, just you can start loosen the bolts. As you can see right now, our bridge is free. Make sure all the bolts are loosened and after take it out right now our camshaft bridge is coming out we we'll need to find a good place where to put it Now we can remove the camshafts, both of them, and after we can remove 
the catalytic, catalytic converter, the turbo, and probably we're going to remove a cylinder head to see what's going on under it. As you can see, we already can remove the camshafts. These lobes, the cylinder number four, are pointed up. The lobes from the first cylinder are pointed down. You can put something that is gonna hold your chain. You can take out first camshaft and after the second one. And this is our camshaft. This is our exhaust camshaft. This is how it looks. Mm 